Hi Virgo, welcome to the channel. This is Pisces Moonbeam and I am here with Radco Tarot and Tarot Predictions. And this is your monthly reading for the month of June 2018 for all Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and Virgo Rising signs. So Virgo, what is going on with you this month? Caring connections reversed. A woman holding a coin and strategy. Okay, so Virgo at the bottom of the deck, healer of the ages. All right, now Virgos, you are definitely going through some healing right now. It looks like there's been some love that has fallen apart. Some friendships, relationships, possibly, you know, uh, romantic relationships just aren't working out. And um, there could be a woman involved in this. There could be somebody, um, I don't want to use the word affair right away, but from what I'm picking up, there could definitely be a love triangle going on here. Um, and possibly, I don't know if this is necessarily money right now, but there is something that this woman has that um, could be connected to why the connections have fallen apart and how the healing might begin and strategy. So there is a way out, Virgo. Um, let's pull some cards for a clarification. Let's see, with the astrology, Virgo, we have the sun and Mercury in your 10th house of career and Venus, the planet of love and relationships in your 11th house uh, in Cancer right now. And Saturn is in your fifth house of Capricorn. You know, fifth house is about creativity and how we express ourselves. So let's see what's going on. There could be some restrictions and strategy definitely will be needed, but let's dive in and see what we got. Two of Gabriel. So this is definitely about partnerships. The Nine of Ariel. We'll get into these cards in a second. I just want to show them to the camera. And solutions. Okay. Page of Ariel. And the Nine of Raphael. That's the Nine of Cups card. All right, Virgo. So don't freak out. Let's get right into it. Now, the Two of Gabriel says, Make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. The Nine of Ariel. So yeah, there's definitely something going on here um, in regards to a third person here for some reason. I'm just getting that vibe again. Uh, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. And here we have solutions. A success that comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience, forgiveness and energy healing. So this card is traditionally in the tarot card, the temperance card. So the way I see it is that you are learning how to you're you're working on something with someone and um everything seems to be going really well um about this person here this could be you virgo uh the page of ariel generally represents an earth sign and it says reliable clever educated balance an excellent opportunity you will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. And it leads to the Nine of Raphael, which is the Nine of Cups, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. 
So from what I'm getting here, this is much more a career oriented reading than it is a love reading. <coughs> In regards to the Caring Connections card here, um, I have a feeling that this is something that you have been carrying for a while and um, it's something that you've been healing or trying to heal for a long time and it just hasn't come. But there is a partnership going on here. Um, this to me represents a person here, the Nine of Ariel, where it says your dreams are fulfilled, hard work leads to great success, uh, love for beautiful things in life. So. Whatever it is, Virgo, that did not work out here, um, it doesn't matter because you're on your way to much better pastures, you know, and there definitely could be something going on here. Um, you could be meeting a person that's about to make all your dreams come true. And again, I do feel that this is much more related to work um, than it is to emotions right now. I feel like emotions are on the back burner for a while and because of the hard work that you have been putting in, uh, I don't know if there's a work or a love interest here or if you're dealing with someone. There could also be a fire sign here. I'm just feeling that these three cards um, going from the two of fire of Gabriel making bold and ambitious choices important relationships with people who share your vision and the page here you know there's a lot of opportunity for money virgo um and the wish is coming true um i i do believe that you know whatever it is that might have fallen apart um whether you moved on to someone else or whether you walked away from somebody because they were lazy um but the strategy that I said that would be needed here, it seems like it's all going to come to you and for you from the universe. Let's pull a couple of tarot cards and see what we got. Can I please have some clarification on, oh, Queen of Wands. Okay, that's standing in your power. I would just like some clarification for Virgo, please, on that caring connections that came out upside down. Um, let's see what we got here, Virgo. Three of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. And the page of pentacles. So I believe that, you know, if there is a relationship that did end, it is uh, due to the fact that um, there might have been somebody who didn't want to carry his or her weight in the relationship. It's definitely issues around money here, Virgo. The bottom of the deck, we got the moon card and the card before that. Oh yeah, we got three of cups cards. So there could have been a relationship going on where there was way too many secrets about how not just money was being spent, but how the relationship was going and what you guys were doing for pleasure or what one of you was doing for pleasure. Um, and definitely the ways of spending money um, did not leave, lead up to the expectations. And again, there's a three card. So to me, I see this being about another person or it could be other people. But um, if there was a relationship that did fall out, Virgo, it's definitely because of financial reasons. So don't stress. You know, you're working on the solutions right here. Uh, you're making your magic. You're doing your thing. Virgo, you're very precise. You're very, very career orientated and you know how to get things done forgive you know not everything in life is about money sometimes there has to be compromise um you know right now this person here that you walked away from or that you could be dealing with is really not mature maybe doesn't recognize the value of a dollar uh maybe you've sort of lost hope in them um because what you did think was going to happen didn't really happen this person probably couldn't bring to the table what you're able to bring to the table 
in the relationship Virgo um, and there's just I feel like a lot of immaturity I do not necessarily feel that there is a breakup coming um, I do believe that um, if there is somebody that you're having issues with in the love department right now there is a possibility to heal uh, like we said the bottom card here healer of ages there's this is a time for healing so just focus on your own stuff Virgo and you don't really need um, to worry about anything else right now because you know you're finished off with the nine of Raphael the the wish come true so let's just pull one more card uh, give me some insight on the strategy please uh, for Virgo Sun Moon and rising just to cap off this reading here for June what kind of strategy should Virgos use going into the month worthiness knowing that you deserve to receive good in all ways so Virgo you know um, right there it goes back to this moon card we got two moons definitely emotions here but focus on the good focus on what you know makes you you Virgo and what makes you unique and know that you deserve to receive the good in all ways and accept the good that is coming into your life whether it's this person here who can help you who's very reliable and clever or whether this is you Virgo you have the wish card and it's gonna happen it's gonna come in but know that when you close your eyes and when you go to bed at night that you deserve to receive good in all ways so this wasn't working out here if somebody was taken from you somebody was mooching from you somebody was doing things with their money that they weren't supposed to you know you can deal with that later but right now for this month focus on the beautiful beautiful things that we have happening and coming in so thank you so much, Virgo, and uh, I wish you a great June, and I hope to see you soon.